Hey everyone, thank you for clicking my channel. So today I am going to teach all the moms and everybody else watching how to do your hair with the Cantu Jamaican Castor Oil Curl Stretch Paste. Okay, so right now my hair is just really curly and um, I have it in a little clip, like I think this is called an alligator clip. Here's the deal. Today, this is just gonna be a simple wash and go method, wash and go look, because I wanna see what it's going to look like with the length. And then I'm going to style it into a style that will actually hold the curl, that hopefully will stretch it for a few hours, and then I'm gonna come back and show you the results to see how did it dry, did it dry short? Like, my shrinkage is real, okay? So like, look at my hair. So right now you can to see the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Curl Stretch Paste. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my hair and I'll bring you through that process. Okay, so it's nice and wet and I'm gonna comb through it next so that I can begin applying the product. Okay, so I often like to part my hair into four parts. That makes it a lot easier to comb through. <laughs> Y'all hear Avia, she's always making a grand appearance, hey baby. So I have some product, it's really thick, maybe, oh my god, this stuff is thick. <laughs> it's like, thick. Okay. But I guess it has to be thick if it's gonna be pulling down and stretching your hair. Maybe that's why. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, since now I have most of the product in, I'm gonna start piecing through and just working the product through different strands. When I was younger, my mom used to be like, you only apply products to the top of your hair. You really gotta work it in. So that's why I'm like pulling it down to the bottom not just from the top and then always make sure your ends have the oils and stuff on them and so like she used to teach me that too like make sure you put products on your ends i mean that's cute so far i'm just wondering if it's really stretching my curls i mean that's how long my hair is so here's the tea. Doing your hair as a mom, I wanted to talk about this because this junk is hard, okay? Like, when do you ever get a chance? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but like me, it is like, I am on obvious time and I shouldn't have said her name because she might come in here and attack me, but like, I am on her time. So I very rarely am able to really do anything super special to my hair. I'm actually highly highly surprised that she is letting me do my hair right now <laughs> i think it's because and here's a tip for you here's the keys to the streets pbs kids she has my phone she loves working with phones and playing on phones uh oh she told me i was telling y'all too much for those of you Avia, stop screaming hold on PBS Kids was working for the first two parts of my hair. I just gave her a bottle of spray, hairspray, so maybe that'll work too. Listen, it's just water in there, okay? I'm like, oh my gosh, Ciara is such a horrible mom. She gave her daughter chemicals. It's literally just water. Back to the conversation. So how to do your hair as a mother. For one, if you are married or if you have a partner who can help you, ask for help literally something that works for me oh my gosh this is like gold is if i can at least get one night out of the week to wash my hair i'm like can i just wash my hair just need you to wash her for a few minutes i need to wash my hair and then that way when i wash my hair i comb through it i usually do a twist out or a twist all right i'll twist it wear my hair and twist 
for the rest of the week because it's easy, right? You just put your hair in a twist. I usually only do like, um, I work from home, so I don't have to do anything super fancy. I'll do maybe four twists with the four sections of my hair, pull those four twists back into a ponytail, plop a headband on. It's a look, okay? It's just, it's a style, um, especially when you work from home. And then on the weekends, what I love to do is I'll just take those twists out, wear my hair in that curly look, and there you go, you have a twist out. And that's how I maintain throughout the week. It's also very good for your hair to just not be applying so much tension to it. So those twists are like perfect. That's like one of the easiest things. That's usually just been my routine. What I used to do earlier in my um, postpartum experience was I would um, get my hair braided. I have my own personal hair braider. Not like personal, like oh I'm rich, I got a personal hair braider. But like I have somebody who's been doing my hair who I trust to do my hair and um, she's awesome. And so I go to her for like when I need braids and so usually she'll do a really cute protective style on me. And I mean it's so easy because like I would I am a conservative person okay by conservative I don't necessarily mean political I'm pretty conservative with like my money and my time and so stuff like that so like I am not like other girls who they're like new hairstyle every week new weave every month or every week if I get a weave I'm usually gonna wear it for at least two months if I get individuals, I'm wearing those, or braids, I'm wearing those for at least two months. And I suggest you do that too, especially if you're a mom, try to save your money. You don't, you should not have to get your hair braided and then change your hairstyle in two weeks. Oh my gosh, I have, I know people like that. My sister is like that. I literally did her hair one day, very next day. I'm thinking I'm gonna see it the next day too. I didn't do the whole style, but I helped her. And listen, the very next day she took it out. She had a whole, whole new style. So it's pretty much all throughout my hair. Noticing that this side like kind of lays down more than this side. It could just be because I'm like a little wacky with my haircuts because I cut my own hair. Even though it doesn't provide me as much elongating. <laughs> I have to like pull it and then it's basically straight. It's like perm in a bottle. I always have a very hard time with the back of my hair because I mean I can't see it. So what do you think? So one thing I will say is that my hands feel super sticky. I don't know, it's like really, really, really sticky. And like touching my hair almost feels like I'm pulling it out. I know that's not a good thing, but it's like so sticky that that's what it feels like. So what I'm gonna do, because I wanna stretch my curls, because we love a good stretch, don't we? I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back, which, oh, I hate this feeling on my hands because it's so sticky that it like feels like I'm like, I don't know, like I'm pulling my hair out. Gosh, it actually hurts, it's like glue. So I'm going to pull my hair back, pin it up. I will show you guys the end result later. Okay guys, so we're back. I'm gonna start untwisting my hair. A whole day has gone by, so by and large, it should mostly be dry by now. Ah, I just don't like the way it feels. It literally, and this is sad, because I really love Cantu products. <laughs> what did I do y'all it's like hard and stiff that did not do what I thought it was gonna do and I'm so so disappointed like my hair uh, and I love Cantu products so it's not even that I love Cantu products and I'm like did I do something maybe if I wet it add more water it'll be better I need this to look good because I have other videos I have other videos that I'm filming today so I'm like you gotta look good so I just re-wet it it does look better not as heavy have a little bit more of my curl pattern I guess also having it like just wrapped up kind of 
made it like not cute since I had it wrapped up for the whole day. But now that I've released it from those shackles and I'm wearing it as its true self and a wet wash and go, it looks good. The verdict. Yes, it does stretch your hair. Maybe not like <laughs> supernaturally. Like it's not like super stretch, right? But how would it be if you have some sort of curl? It's gonna kind of, you're gonna lose some inches because you have a little bit of a curl. So that's understandable. I don't mind that. What I do mind though is the texture and like the stickiness of it when I was applying it. It was like really sticky and then when it dried it was still really dry looking and it was very like sticky feeling. I literally had to wet it. It didn't make my hair soft, it just made my hair like really hard, sticky. Good thing I washed some of it out. It's crazy how like just simple water will make your hair look so cute. But see, when the water dries, that's the problem. What's your verdict? <laughs> Let me know in the caption below if you've tried this, if you also had a similar experience to it being really sticky. What product should I try next? Let me know in the comments below. I really hope that this is helpful, especially for black moms who are like, I don't know what to do with my hair or brown skin moms. Like, yeah, I hope that this video helps with knowing like my biggest tip is to just do a twist out, do it at the top of the week, ask someone to just wash the kid while you do take a shower and do your hair for 30 minutes. Then you have your hairstyle for the rest of the week, little twist, put it in a ponytail, put it in style it however you want, and then at the end of the week, untwist it, you have your weekend, wear your hair curly, have fun with it, that's the style. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I talk a lot about motherhood, a lot about breastfeeding, a lot about beauty, so hair, makeup, lipstick, stay tuned. All right, love you guys.